Hi, it's Paul here. I'm going to show you some DMX lighting setups with Stop Motion Pro version 8. And DMX is a wonderful way to control lighting. Uh, I've got a Canon DSLR here and I'm going to come into the uh, tools menu. I've got my DMX uh, hardware set up. I've got a USB 2 interface box connected to a four channel dimmer. And that dimmer is then connected to four tungsten lights. So when I open the DMX control tool here. I, uh, I can specify how many channels, which is set to four there. I'm going to set the frame count, so how long my shot is, and I'll specify which port I'm going to connect to. Generally, that's just one option there, so COM3 is fine. If I click OK, I first of all can start seeing my channels. Now, each, as I said, each of those channels is relating to one light, and if I now make a change to the dimmer switch here, a slider, I can start to see the effect. Now that's my fill light, so I might give that a name. I'll call that the fill. And channel two, what's that? That's that's my backlight. So I'll call that backlight. Channel three. Right, that's more or less my key. And channel 4, this is the one I'm going to animate. It's, as you can see there, it's at the back of the window. So this is going to be my uh, my sunrise. So, now I don't want to be worrying about this, uh, fading this light up while I'm animating. So what I can do is just grab the point like this at the start and end of my animation and say, right, I want that change to occur while I'm filming. And that will just automatically ramp up while you're filming. If you want to make a change to that during it, I can come in and just put a, a point in here, or a, uh, another point there. It's possible to zoom zoom in. It's a bit restricted here where I'm looking at it, but I can zoom in and put in as many, many points as I want to smooth the lighting effect out. And I might uh, drop another one in here. Great. And so when I play here, What's happening is the, the light's changing in the background there, and I can see the, the final effect. A really powerful function in Stop Motion Pro version 8 is being able to have the DOP tool open at the same time as your uh, DMX tool. This is brilliant because uh, I can put on the Zebra display here, and so as I make changes to my lighting setup, if I want to crank a bit more light here out of the, uh, the key light or, or reduce it, I can see exactly what the effect is going to be. Uh, I can scroll over here and look at the, the different pixel values uh, if I want to, uh, and importantly the histogram is updating while I work. So this is a, a really brilliant way to be able to come in, make changes to your lights and uh, see how it's working. Now this uh, this path here I might really like and I might want to copy it to another channel. That's easy. You just click copy, select the channel you want to copy it to, and click paste. And that's immediately transferred. There are quite a few options here uh, which I, I won't completely go into, but it's possible to save a lighting show, <coughs> which is all your channels here, and bring that into another project. So if, if you're working on another shot, you want to redo the same shot from a different camera angle and want to have the lighting be exactly the same as the last shot, it's easy. You just copy and paste the whole project in. So that's a, another uh, handy little feature there. In a studio situation, you may want to have work lights. And this is, this is good if you've got very low lighting. Um, I'll just turn off the zebra there. It's The whole scene's dark. So you might just say have uh, one light that you want to have on, and we'll we'll say it's that one. Or and, and for the purpose of the demonstration, we'll say it's these these two lights. And uh, we'll call them the the work lights. All right. And so I can look at my shot like that. But if I want to go, if I've taken the frame and I now want to go in and move my puppets or have a break for lunch, I can turn on the work lights and that can be a different channel, a different set of lights. I'm not wearing out my lights, but I'm able to move around the set safely and 
make the changes I need to, and then just jump back into the correct lighting setup. Here on the main Stop Motion Pro interface screen, you can always just check the work lights option and or uncheck it when you're ready, and the lights will fade and go back in sync accordingly. All right, well, I've just uh, I'll just build a little bit of animation here just to show the effect here. So we're looking at the light in the background, which is animating over time, and when I play the animation back, you can see that that change occur gradually over time. So that's the DMX tool and how you can use it in Stop Motion Pro version 8.